Next is your sidebar menu tab and sidebar menu tab is visible when you are having a sidebar in your layout. Here I'm selecting combination of left right sidebar and now I can move to the sidebar menu tab and the first option on the sidebar menu is the presets giving you an easy and quick way to design attractive sidebar menu. Here are the various presets and you can select any one out of them. I'm selecting this one. The sidebar menu mainly contains the two parts, container and the header. And we are going to start the designing of container first. Under the container properties, we have the option of margin, padding, border and shadow. We are going to start with the margin option and you can give the margin from top bottom left and right just go to more option and here i'm giving the margin and next is the padding option similarly you can give the padding also from top bottom left and right and this is the select all option you can deselect also and here i'm giving the padding from left right top bottom After margin and padding, you are having a border option. Here are the various styling options like dotted, dashed and solid. This is the thickness option for the border and radius for your border and the color option for your border. Then coming to the shadow, here are the various presets of shadow. Just go to more and customize your shadow from here. Select this option and from here you can select the color for your shadow. Next, coming to the background option, you can apply any background color to the sidebar menu. I'm choosing this one. After the container properties, we are going to header properties. And first option is whether you want to show header in your sidebar menu or not. You see, I am deselect the option and this heading is removed from here. And again, I'm going here and selecting the option show header and this is the icon option if you want to add on any icon you can select from the gallery here I'm selecting this one and these are the various options you can browse your own icon to the browse option and you can change the color also from here I'm setting the color of the icon Coming to the margin option, you can give the margin to the header from top, bottom, left and right. And similarly, there are padding option from top, bottom, left and right. And this is the heading type. You can set the heading type from the drop down. Next is your background option for the header. And see the color is changing. Oh. Now coming to the border option of the header and you can style the border of your header from here this is the style option where the styles of border are given here and this is the thickness option and similarly radius and color of the border next is the option of the height of the header and from here you can set the height And next is the typography option. You can style your header of the sidebar menu from here. Your style options are normal, bold, italic and bold italic. You can change the phone size, phone family, phone color you can give from here. And various effects can also be added to the header from here. Alignment option, you can center, justify, left or right. And this is the text decoration option. You can underline the header of the sidebar menu or you can strike through and all these options are there in the single dialog also. Next you can apply texture to the border and after texture we are having effects that can also be added to the header and two more options you can get advanced effects and this is the shadow option just like you can add shadow to the container similarly you can add shadow to your header individually also
Coming to the menu button properties, first option is the separator between the menu items and here are the various styling options for the separator. First is the style to be dotted, dashed and solid. Thickness of the separator can be set from here. I am setting it to 1 pixels and the color of the separator. Just go to more and you can pick the color with the help of the dropper. These are the separators added between the menu items. Next option is the height of the menu items. Here it is 40 and width is 90 and keeping as it is. Next is the margin and the padding option for the menu items. And next is the content margin. You can give the margin to the content from top, bottom, left and right. Then the horizontal alignment of the menu items, you can set it to left. Here the menu items are aligned to left. Similarly, you can set the menu items to center and right. I am keeping them in the center. Next is the icon option. You can add icons in front of your menu items. And apart from the gallery, you can browse your own icon of your choice. And these are the options to change the color of the icons on normal, on hover and in active case. After the icon, next is the arrow option. And this is the option to add thickness to the arrow. I'm adding an arrow of thickness one pixel here. Next is the color of the arrow in the normal case. Just go to more and select the color of the arrow in the normal case. Next is the color of the arrow in the hover case. And similarly the color of the arrow in the active case you can set from here. Next is the texture option. You can add textures to the menu items in the normal hover and in the active case from the gallery. And just like texture, you can add shadow also in all the three cases, normal, hover and active. Next is the background option for the menu items and you can set the background in the normal hover and in the active case. In the normal case, I am setting the background to be white. Then in the hover case, just go to more color option and use the dropper to pick the color. Next, you can set the background in the active case also. We have set the background in all the three cases, normal, hover and active. Next is the border. Similarly, you can set the border in all the three cases, normal, hover and active. And then coming to the typography option. Typography in the normal case, in the hover case and in the active case. In the hover case, you can style from here. To be normal, bold, italic or bold, italic, font size, you can set font family and the font color also. Now, this is the change in the background on hover and changing the background and the typography of the menu items. This is all done with the menu items. Next is the options. Whether we want to open our sub menu on a mouse click or on hover. Here I'm selecting the option click. And the sub menu is open on the click. Next is the hover option. And the submenu is open just on the mouse hover. 
Now, this is the case of expand horizontally. I'm going to expand my sub menu vertical. You see the sub menu is expanding vertically on mouse hover. Again, I am selecting the expand horizontally option only. Next are the sub menu layouts. First is the mega. This is your mega sub menu layout. Next is the vertical sub menu layout. This is vertical sub menu layout. Next is the horizontal sub menu layout. This is our sub menu layout horizontal. Next, coming to the sub menu container, and this is your sub menu container without designing. And now we are going to start the designing of this container from here. First option is the background option. From here, you can set the background of your sub menu container. See, I have added the background. Now, after the background, I'm having the border option, style option for the border thickness, one pixel radius, and the color option. Just go to more and select the color with the help of a color picker. And after the background and border option, you can add a shadow also from the presets to your submenu container. The designing of your submenu container is completed. We have added a background and border to it. Coming to the submenu item option. Now you can see we have completed the designing of the submenu container. And these are your, our submenu items which we are going to design next. And first option under the submenu item is the height and the width option. Just go to more and set the height of the submenu items. And from here, you can set the width also. After the height and width of the submenu items, we have the background of the submenu items in the normal case. And the background of the submenu items in the hover case, just go to more and select the color with the dropper. Here is the submenu container after the changes of the submenu item. Now, after the background, we have the border option. Under border, we have the styling option. We can style the border of the submenu items from here. We can set the style, thickness, radius, and color. Similarly, we can style our border on hover. And we can add a shadow to the submenu items and shadow on mouse hover also. Just like we have added a separator between the menu items, we can add a separator between the sub menu items also. And these are the styling options for the separator. Then the margin and the padding options for the sub menu items. Just go to more and set the margin from here. I'm deselecting the option margin from left and right as 5. And from the top, I am setting it to 10. And similarly, for the padding option, I am setting the padding from the left. Next options after the margin and padding are the icon options. You can add icon to the submenu items or you can browse your own icon of your choice and you can change the color of the icons in the normal and the in the forward case. Next is the typography option and typography you can set in normal and hover case. Here I am changing the color of the font on hover. 
We have completed the designing of the sub menu items. This is your sub menu items after the designing and see you can see how the color of the background and the text is changing on mouse hover. Next, I'm going to the mega sub menu layout and in mega sub menu layout, we have one more option, sub menu heading. And this is your layout before the designing of the headings. And now I'm going to start with the designing of these sub menu headings. First option is the height option. I'm setting the height of the sub menu headings to be 40 pixels and background in the normal case, just go to more and again I'm using the color picker and the background in the hover case. I'm going to more easily. I'm using the dropper. After setting the background of the submenu headings, I'm coming to the border option. You can set the border of the submenu headings and style according to your requirement. Similarly, I can style the border on the mouse hover and shadow I can add to the submenu headings and shadow that can be applied to the submenu headings on mouse hover. Similarly, you can add a separator between the submenu headings. And next is the margin and the padding option for the submenu headings. Just go to more and deselect this option. This is your margin from left, right, top and bottom. And here I'm deselecting the option and giving the padding from left. Now after the margin and the padding option, we have the icons. I can apply icons to the submenu headings from the gallery or I can browse my own and change the color of those icons in normal and in hover case. Next is the typography option. I am changing the color on mouse hover, I am setting it to white. And normally I am setting the color. The same only. We have completed the designing of sub menu headings also. Now your sidebar menu after the designing of the container item and headings is this one and see the change of the color on mouse hover of the sub menu items and this is your sub menu heading. This is your sidebar menu view in the desktop and in order to see it in tablet, click on the tablet option and this is your sidebar menu view in the tablet. Here your sub menu will open on the mouse click and next is your mobile view. And here just click on the menu items to open the sub menu. Here are the various the menu items. Back to the desktop. See how simple it is to design with template toaster and to watch our next videos also. Thank you.